hybrid boxing, coming from the third corner, not landing on the coaches. Well, for true, trying to turn it on in the last couple of rounds, obviously. Schedule for eight then at World Away, just to remind you, 10 stone, 9, they both weigh. 10-7 is the World Away division. Firing now, that's it. The Greek tank keeps rolling on, all right. It'll be 27 wins for true, he's only actually got nine. But uh, as you say, Jimmy, he normally does pressure fight as he wins the wars of attrition. It's going to take some stopping, some of He's yet to hit the deck at all. In and hooking. They're only giving it all these two. No good little burst there by uh, the crew of the Cumberland. Tucking up the elbows close to the body there, trying to block the punches. This really is a typical true war and a typical Somerville war. They couldn't have been better, Max, really. And this is a flash. I just we saw a few signs in the other part of the round that Petru is maybe going to take over a little bit. And then just as we felt that was happening, Somerville comes blazing back again. This really is a cracker. Still bloody around the nose and not you know the storm set at all, but he's not really giving Somerville any trouble. Yeah, knowing him, he doesn't even notice it, I should think. He's got other things on his mind. What a, a really gutsy guy. And originally this should have been for the, the Midland Championship, as I said earlier, but uh, the crew took a rest or retired at the time. But he stopped it now. He's he was just not firing back at that point, Somerville. Following that good work in the fifth round, Petru stepped it up in the sixth, and Somerville simply ran out of gas, but at no time did he run out of heart. so long to get another shot at the British title, having lost it. I mean, you don't lose many fights. Where does that leave you now? Well, it's just climbing the uh, the big ladder again, you know. It's just right back to square one, really. You know, you just, you can't just say die. No fighter says die, and he just comes back from it. But it is a blow to you. It's definitely a blow, you know. He knocks me back quite a few rungs on the ladders, you know, but I'll climb back up. There's no, no fear of that.
more suspect to say could he stop the draw? I mean, he's such a tough guy, but there was a, a moment or two there when the referee looked at him, he just might start diving in, but he's back again for Drew, incredible. See, this is what the true breaks people's hearts when they, when they connect with a manager of punchy and punches and get true, put the shoe comes gone and back at him, he's done this so often. Seventh round of a really tough world away battle this. Uh, right from the start, Jim Watt and I said, well, on paper it must be. Uh, I think I know he's a little up to uh, expectations and surpassing. I let a lot of guys think that until I, I come back and then I surprised them all. They just think, where's this guy coming from? And here I am. There he is. You see, I'm still hitting him. I'm not easy enough. I'm just keep on hitting him. And it's the referee that's got to pull me off in the end. It's an interesting situation because you've got to, you've got to wait now while they have the eliminator for the British title oh, between oh. Rocky Kelly and the unbeaten George Collins. I don't care. Let, let them fight. Let them sort it out. I'm there. I'm waiting. I don't care who I take. I'll fight anybody. I'm not covered. The tank is here and I'm staying from out. The tank is here and I'm staying from out. The tank is here and I'm staying from out. Mitty's amongst there and he's come to watch me so Sylvester Mitty knows who's going to be the next British champion otherwise he wouldn't have bothered to come here so I'm going to show him and I'll be ready for him anyway <laughs> 